Here we go. Very quiet. Three, two, one. And action. What do you think makes Sesame Street so appealing to kids? I hate it myself. <laughs> <laughs> This was an experiment. Children were watching a tremendous amount of television. So why not see if it could educate them? Our target audience were inner city children. We had struggled with the idea of the setting for the show. I wanted to capture that New York energy because to the three-year-old is cooped up in the room upstairs, the action is on the street. <laughs> we were on pins and needles before it went on the air. It was as if the world had been waiting for this. Oh, you watch Sesame Street? What she is doing is what television would do if it loved people instead of trying to sell to people. I think you're right. Yeah. Yay! The diversity of the cast was unheard of. It was amazing. People of all races live together, kids, adults, and monsters. <gasps> I think they started feeling a little pressure. In the affluent suburbs of Jackson, Sesame Street is not on the air. Some who saw it apparently disliked the number of black performers. When you're growing up and you don't see yourself in the media, then you get the feeling that you're not part of this culture. Television has so much power of doing that. Take one, rolling. And see. Jim Henson and Frank Oz are super. They were a comedy team. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> the show is a form of immortality because if you think about it, Ernie will live forever. <laughs> it was chaos, but it was the chaos of people dedicated to a real ideal, believing something could be done and having the will to do it. That's what Sesame Street's about.